There it is. Okay, 51 pounds is what it took. Okay? And you can see kind of a similar fracture pattern that just went right through it there. Okay, he's going to tear it out, zero out that, uh, that scale, and we're going to tee up a 1.1 millimeter thick uh, strength and sew line. Okay? This is the second piece that Reed went after. Let's see where this one breaks. He's still using one finger. There he is up. Okay, 70. Okay? You know, rough math, about a 40% improvement or so in the uh, in the pound force that required to break that. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to tee up 1.0 millimeter gorilla glass. Okay, keep in mind this is the last piece that Reed went after. Made a made a nasty little etch on the plastic there, but nothing on the glass. And I'm going to ask John. Uh, notice he's not used using one finger now, but he's going to he's going to get down on it a little bit more. There's one hand. He's up over 70, 80, two hands, 90. 100, keep going, come on, whoa, 129, okay, 129 pounds, how's the glass look, Jeff? Looks good. Looks good, thumbs up. That's 1.0 millimeter gorilla glass, okay, so you can see already uh, taking quite a bit more exertion and force and no damage to the glass. What did I just tell you about thin? Thinner, 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 right? Up to 20% thinner with Corning's gorilla glass too. Rough math would make that a 1.0 to 0.8 millimeter thick Gorilla Glass 2 piece. So Josh is going to load up Gorilla Glass 2 here. Again, 20% thinner than that last piece. And pour on the pressure. Here we go. 60, 80, 90, 100. This is thinner, folks. This is 20% thinner. 120. Wow. Okay. Same amount of force. Thinner. How's the glass look? Corning's thinner Gorilla Glass 2 looks outstanding after this test. Thank you so much.